Okay, and what we're going to look at in this one is the descaling um, descaling system. Now, as I previously pointed out, that is your descaling button, which you will use when you're descaling your machine. What you will need is the descaling solution, um, and I recommend you use the DeLonghi type, otherwise you could end up in a bit of strife. Okay, as I mentioned, um, you'll need the uh, descaling solution and generally it's uh, a small portion of the solution itself to a required amount of water in the tank, which is usually uh, about 500 mil. Um, and this will be explained in more detail through the manual or I'm sure there are um, some um, information on YouTube. Um, so and plus it'll be in the manual. Now, some people are having trouble with it staying in descale mode. So after you've finished the descaling process um, and you've gone through um, and put the, the, um, the fluid through it, you need to do a rinse. Now, it needs to be a full rinse. So um, you fill the tank to the top and then let the whole, and then follow the, the rinse process through the manual so um, it has a maximum amount of water to go through and repeat the rinse cycle it may tell you to do it once i'm pretty sure it tells you to do it more than once because you'll have one run one rinse to rinse out the the, the solution a second a second rinse to rinse out the system and possibly a third if you still have your descale light on then do a rinse until it disappears uh, it could take three maybe four times i don't think it will but the purpose of it not going out is it means it hasn't finished its cycle so you've either interrupted it or um, something's happened and it's not gone through if it gets halfway through it um, and it doesn't want to play ball then redo the process but don't put your cleaning solution in uh, and then henceforth it will go through and rinse the system. But that's generally why the descaling light stays on because it hasn't finished its rinse cycle. The longer you leave it, then the more in-depth rinse it's going to need um, because you've put uh, quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of um, coffee and espresso shots shots through it. Um, so if you're a, uh, a high volume coffee drinker. Um, then the descale will possibly come through um, earlier and it will probably take a more in-depth um, cycle uh, to clean to clean to clean everything out um, but uh, follow your manual um, and if at the end of it you you still have your descale light on do another rinse full tank rinse and it should it should disappear um, if you've done it like say maybe four times and it's still um, and it's still on contact DeLonghi um, and then they will probably help you out um, by getting it past that um, that final point but generally that's what stops it from going into its um, returned <coughs> excuse me uh, ready to brew cycle and basically the same thing with the, the group head clean um, if it's not done a if it's not rinsed properly, then you will probably find that may that may stay on. Um, so, in a nutshell, um, take care of your machine. Um, always keep your grinder, um, your grinding burrs, preferably cleaned it, clean them at the end of each um, each bag, or if you're using a one kilo bag, perhaps halfway through. Um, make small adjustments. Um, for your grinder settings uh, and your dose rate until you get your brew right um, and if you're using your single single basket make sure you don't have your two by light on uh, have it off um, and so you're using your uh, your single basket incidentally i think we had it on a dose level of 20 um, when we did our first extraction so if you were using your single basket you would probably be down around 10 would be the ideal um, the ideal level for a, for a single shot. Most people use a double basket because it gives them 
uh, a greater volume of coffee. Um, and uh, as I've said, the three basic DeLonghi Specialista machines um, all have a slightly different approach as to where you want to get to, but the basic principle is the same as far as your, um, your, your coffee extraction, uh, your dose temp rate. Um, the one thing I will say, if you just bear with me for a second, is when you're manually when you're manually tamping I've got another um, thingy here just uh, right, I can't it here. Right, just as a side note um, when you're tamping particularly with the the, uh, the specialist Arte you have a dosing funnel so it will grind the coffee into your dosing funnel and then you will manually tamp it. A way you can tell with them is if you have the pretty well the correct uh, amount is tamp it, take your dosing ring off and use your manual tamper. I'm using a um, a 54ml porter filter at the moment though these ones are under a 51 but the principle will apply. What you're looking for to get a fairly good level of dose is when you tamp it the outer rim of your porter filter should come up level with the top end of the flange on the tamper on the tamper unit yourself itself which is giving you about that much distance from your group head doesn't matter if it's a wee bit high uh, as long as it's not a little low. So um, once you've done once you've done that, then you pop it into your group head and extract extract your coffee. So um, and that's with the Arte, uh, the, the specialist of Arte's. They have the dosing ring. You will fill it up, dose it, and when you go to tamp it, you'll pop it inside inside like that. You can you can do it with these. Um, but that's generally what you're looking for. Is that to be around about the right height uh, level with the top of your top of your filter basket. Now another thing that you can do is they are available in 51. This is a a dual uh, a dual tamping thing. You'll fill it up um, and disperse it, turn it, and then tamp it. So you'll have it on there and you'll press down on it. Again, that will be set to give you um, the depth and the right fill um, of your port of your of your porter filter. So um, that was just a bit of a side note. It can also help um, with your dosing um, and of your of your funnel. So on that note, um, I think we'll wrap it up all together. Um, I will try and put these in. Um, in chapters into perhaps one um, one video if I can if not I'll have to do it in try and in individually so um, I hope this has will will and can help um, some of our DeLonghi coffee lovers um, and this is what I've learned personally so it's not um, uh, strictly applied to um, the manufacturers and things like that. These are just things that I've, I've learnt over the years of having my coffee machines plus the uh, advanced barista course that I have done. So I do have quite a good idea as to, as to what I'm talking about. So on that note, uh, if you like the videos, please like, like, the, like the videos. Um, hit the notification bell for up and coming uh, videos uh, and please feel free to describe because there is subscribe because there was quite a few videos of various other machines so on that note thank you for watching